How the hell are their neighborinos? So, June 25th marks the start of the Steam Summer Sale. So, it's time to break out your wallets once again. You can see all kinds of deals across the board. You know how Steam goes by now. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure. Like 20, 30, 40, and sometimes even 90% off on some things. And because this is Steam and like one of the biggest PC marketplaces are around, you could be sure that there is going to be plenty of VR content available during this sale. However, I would be remiss if I did not tell you all about their comp their biggest competitor at the moment, Epic Games. They're launching their very own summer sale between now and June 13th. June 13th being the end of E3. Why is that important? That's important because any pre-orders that are announced during E3 will also be available for this blanket sale. This blanket sale being $10 off anything as well as like 70% up to 70% off on a couple things. I'm not sure how that'll stack or if it stacks. I, I don't know how that'll work. But I know that there's going to be a $10 off everything. But the one of the biggest things that I have to touch on is that there is going to be free games given out every single week during this sale. And on top of that, just because Steam and Epic want your money, they they're all their other biggest competitors at the moment, Sony and Microsoft, are also going to be launching their very own summer sales. As far as when the those dates are going to be, who knows? But that's what you can look forward to at the moment. Big discounts on your biggest favorite games, blah blah blah. Save money, get games, you know what to do. The next piece of news I'm going to talk about is probably one of the biggest pieces I've talked about yet. So, as I'm sure you know, Microsoft, Sony, big console rivals. They are undeniably the leaders in the console war. However, one of the biggest things that was released recently was that PlayStation was that Sony and Microsoft will be working together for the game streaming services and cloud gaming. This marks a huge milestone just in, in that one phrase that they will be working together. I don't know about you, but I've, I've never really intentionally worked with a rival before. The, there's a, a lot of things that this could end up leading to. So first, just the simple fact that they are working together could, could spell out the fact that PlayStation may actually be willing to come to the table as far as cross-platform gaming is concerned. They are the last one that is left as far as things like that are concerned. So at the moment, you're not able to play with your friends on Minecraft or Fortnite or whatever you're doing. But depending on how things progress following this news, that may actually be possible. Uh, not only that, but the the simple fact that they are focusing so much on games game streaming to the extent that they are willing to work with Microsoft may spell out the idea that consoles, the idea of consoles at least, may be temporary. That being said, it is entirely within the realm of possibility as evidenced by the Google Stadia that we may be entering into one of our final generations of consoles at least. As, as far as whether or not that may come to pass, I don't know. But that, 
that's just that's just a lot for me to wrap my head around. The very idea that consoles may be a dying idea, cloud streaming being a reality, and cross platforms being well possible just between everybody. That's each of those are very huge ideas in their own right. However, there's a few things that that may actually make that a reality and the biggest one by far would be the 5G mobile network. I've talked about that a couple times on this channel before about how if a 5G network will support virtual reality gaming. That being said, it is entirely possible that that may be the backbone necessary in order to bring stronger connectivity in order to not, not only bring that connectivity, but make cloud gaming and streaming all of your games a real possibility. But I think I've talked enough about all that and the possible ramifications, so I'll leave you guys to it. This next story isn't quite as impressive as Sony and Microsoft finally working together on making something even better for the consumer. Uh, this is all about a haptic controller dev kit that is set to release on May 29th. Reason this is impressive is, well, not only is it go going to be compatible with the Vive and the Oculus Rift tracking controllers, but it really gives you the feel of the, I, I'm not really sure how to put it, but it gives you the feel of resistance, recoil, weight, all that kinds of stuff. All, everything you would need to feel a little bit more immersed in, well, in, in that system, in that game that you're playing that would, where you would need to throw the rocks or carry the sword or I'll even shoot the gun. This tool, the haptic, the haptic controller that Tactical Haptics is releasing the dev kit for, well, long story short, it should be amazing. But that being said, because just now the dev kits are going to be released, the tool, the controller itself is likely not going to hit shelves for at least, well, yeah, best estimate would be around a year, probably. Just be on the safe side. But in any case, just the fact that you would feel a bit more immersed in Skyrim VR or Firewall or what whatever whatever other games you're interested in playing with this thing. That in itself sounds amazing to me. Now this next piece of news is all about a couple upcoming game releases. The first one is the Persistence Complete Edition. Some of you may already know about the Persistence. came out June last year. However, the big thing that's going to be the big the big part of all of this of the Complete Edition is going to be that it is going to be ported not only to virtual reality but also to a non VR setup, so a, a 2D screen. With that, you could expect quite a few graphical changes, UI changes, and especially 4K and 60 FPS set especially for the PlayStation 4 Pro. Another big, another big thing that I could talk about here is the fact that we finally got a trophy list for a for a, you know, a small title that nobody's heard of, um, Predator VR. No, nobody knows about the Predator, right? Aliens, Predators. No, nobody knows the Predator. Uh, so this trophy list is brought to us courtesy of Exoverse, and in this list we're seeing quite a few notable things. 
like the jungle playing as either the predator or as a human playing in multiplayer rounds which could be either co-op or pvp or uh, it could also be something similar to uh, what evolve was going for where you play as one of a team of humans who is facing off against the big baddie which in this case would be the predator so that list will also be will also be in the description down below so do feel free to check that out now this last story is flipping huge okay so sony has worked is working with immersion core to sign an agreement to license their advanced haptics patent stuff so what does that mean for you if these diagrams are anything to go by, it means that we may be getting an update to the PlayStation Move controllers. Something a little bit better than these flashing light balls that, that we keep waving around in hopes of the camera maybe tracking the thing. So, obviously, when you pair this with the with the patent that they filed just a few weeks back. That is just amazing. Chances are these updated handheld move controllers would end up working a heck of a lot better and likely to be shipped with the upcoming PlayStation VR 2. As we've already touched on, that upcoming headset likely will not come on launch date for the PlayStation 5 but rather later on, maybe a few months, yeah, probably a few months down the line, maybe like March 2021 or something, around that time, one, time frame. But as far as a definitive date for when they could actually, see, when we could actually see something like that is up in the air. Personally, I am all for it. If we can get updated controllers, updated tracking that would be amazing so i think that's a good place to end the video my niece is crying in the background you might be able to hear it uh if you guys liked it let me know if you hated it let me know and as always don't forget to tell me how i'm a horrible person for giving you all this news ta-ta for now